All right, we are going to work on our next lesson. Um, this is the fourth lesson in chapter one titled Order Numbers. So we're going to look at how do we take a lot of big numbers and put them in order either from least to greatest or from greatest to least. Okay, greatest means biggest, least means smallest. So if those words are confusing to you, think of smallest to biggest and biggest to smallest. Uh, they mean the same thing. So what I'm going to do is show you one example in your notes. Uh, your notes should be pretty short for today, so that'll be nice. Um, and I'm going to pull from example two on page 30 in your math book. So I'm going to stack my numbers that I have just like I did in the previous lesson. Basically, this lesson is the same as lesson three. We are comparing numbers. We're seeing which ones are bigger, which ones are smaller. And the only difference is that we have more than two numbers to compare. So instead of saying this is the biggest, this is the smallest, we have to figure out, well, where do the other numbers fit amongst those? Um, which one goes in the middle? Maybe there's five numbers. Uh, maybe three numbers are in the middle, and we have to figure out what order they go in. So basically, this is just another practice at um, seeing do we understand place value? So I'm going to write these down. And I'm trying to line up my digits as best that I can. All right, so I see that all of these numbers are in the hundred thousands place. So I know that I need to start by comparing the hundred thousands. So it looks like we have two, two, and two. Those are all the same, so I can't compare from that column. Let's look at the next column. I have four, five, and four. Well, there I have one that is definitely bigger than the others, so I know that this is going to be my biggest number, so I'm going to label it as a three. Okay, this number is now done. I, only numbers I'm comparing are the first one and the last one. So four and four are the same, five and five are the same, Zero and zero are the same. Ooh, I have three and two. Three is bigger and two is smaller. So this is going to be my smallest number. I'll label it as one. And this will be my second smallest number. So I'll label it as two. So now to write these in order, let's say that this problem is least to greatest. Okay, and I'm shortening those by saying L to G. From least to greatest, I would write this number first because that's my smallest. I would write 245,023. And then to separate numbers, if we're writing them in a list, we can't just keep using commas because we have commas in our numbers. So we use what's called a semicolon, where I put kind of like a period in the middle of the line and then a comma right underneath it. That is called a semicolon. Next, this is my second smallest number. So I'm going to list that one next. 245,032, another semicolon. And finally, I'm going to list the biggest number, which is, hopefully I can fit it over here. Let's write a little bit smaller, 254,002. Okay, so here is my smallest, the middle number, and the largest number. So I put them in order from least to greatest. Now we can do this with as many numbers as we like, and maybe you can come up with different symbols instead of using digits over here. Maybe you will have a really big star for the biggest one, and an itty bitty star for the smallest one, and a medium sized star for that one, and then you would know to put them in that order, that this is the smallest, then this one, then this one. 
whichever way makes more sense to you, uh, use that method. Okay, this is all about what works for you and what makes the most sense for you. Um, next up, I'm going to show you how to do today's homework. I know that was a super fast lesson, but it's basically the same thing as yesterday. We are just dealing with more than two numbers this time. So um, today's lesson um, homework or worksheet that you're going to be doing is um, a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. Okay, so this is your math worksheet for lesson four. And I'm just going to walk you through how to do this worksheet because it is set up a little bit differently than what we've been dealing with. So um, I'm always going to make sure I'm reading the directions. Thank you. And it's in red. That must mean it's important. Oh, I'm going to read it. Okay, it says, put the following numbers in order from least to greatest by clicking on each number and dragging it to the correct spot. Okay, it says click on each number. Oh my gosh, it got highlighted in blue. Wow, that's fun. Okay, and then I need to drag it to the correct spot. Well, if I hover my mouse over the middle, it just makes it want to type. However, if I go to the edge and I see these four arrows in all different directions pop up, I can click that and I can move that box wherever I want it to go. So what I would suggest for this is go back to your notes. We didn't write a whole lot. You have a whole rest of your page that you can write on, and you can stack these numbers. Make sure you line up place values, and then determine which one's the smallest, and then which one's the biggest, and then what order the middle two should go in. And then what you would do is you would take this and you would drag it where you think it should go, and you would place it right on the line. Okay, and then I can do the same over here. Click, make sure the blue highlight, fancy highlight comes on. Click, drag. Okay, I'm not putting them in the correct spots for a reason. I don't want to give it away. Okay, so I'm going to put these back so that it's ready for you guys. But that's how we click and drag. Okay, next page. Ooh, look at this. More red words. I should read them, shouldn't I? I think so. Okay, it says line up the numbers in order from greatest to least greatest, biggest to smallest, right? By placing them in the place value chart, click and drag. Okay, so click. Ooh. Now, if I put it like this, that ain't right. That this isn't right, okay? Make sure that it lines up in the place. Value. Oh, look how pretty it is. If it's pretty, I'll accept it, okay? You guys can click and drag just fine. So another click and drag. What would you look at that? The third slide is a click and drag. We're just practicing that skill. No, actually you're practicing your numbers and reading big numbers and putting them in order. Ooh, this one says greatest to least. Watch that. Okay, the following slide says, explain how you know that this statement is true. Okay, how do you know that this number, whatever that symbol is, and this number, okay, how do you know that this is true? Hint. Oh, I got a hint. Start your explanation with, I know that 47,908 is less than 47,919 because and look at this, this is click to add text. So if I click here, oh, that part goes away. It's just a little hint for me that I can type there. And then I'm going to start typing. I know that four, seven, comma, nine, zero, eight. See where I'm going with this? Okay, you guys are more than capable of doing this. Quick, acting silly with your math worksheets and do your best. See you later. Bye.